episode of Last Day on Earth. Today we return, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, back from a little swim with my favorite little turtle, Travis. I am what? That's all right, Travis. We'll get you a towel. But yes, we are back from a trip on our favorite rocket ship, grabbing none other than a little bit of seaweed. Because today, as y'all can tell from our inventory, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we got a laboratory adventure coming your way. And for good reason, because today we're going to be taking a look at some brand spanking new sectors for the very first time. And I could not be more hype about it. Also, always a great excuse to go out and pop open some of those uh, key card A's. And soon enough, baby, key card B's will be ours as well. But hope you're not there's having an absolutely fade freaking fantastic day of the most amazing variety that only keeps on getting better from here on out. Whether that be from the video, bring you a smile, bring you a giggle, anything or everything like that, does not matter to me how a little bit of joy can go ahead and make its way into your day today. I'm just crossing my fingers that indeed do. That's exactly what that joy do do because nothing else bring a smile to my face like knowing that hopefully I might be able to crack one on yours. And hello, baby, what do we got inside of door number one? Disappointment! Come on, man. You can't give me like some cool weapons or something. A shot. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love me some shotgun rain. I mean, the the catalysts are not too bad either. We just opened up the region box. I don't even know entirely what we got from that, but we, we got something. And obviously, these energy cells will come in handy too. These are, after all, I mean, the energy cells, uh, what you might call the catalysts, are both loot unique to the laboratory that we can only get from here. So I'm always happy to go ahead and stockpile a little bit more. But with that, it is time for us to move on, lads and lassies, because the reason we went on our boat was to go ahead and stockpile a little bit of the weed of the sea. That is right, the weed from the sea. The seaweed itself, we are going to be in need of because it powers the generator that we require to open up the sectors and engage in all sorts of awesome, hilarious, fun shenanigans. Speaking of fun shenanigans, make sure to head on over to that link at the very tippity top of the description, twitch.tv slash starslife, where we're gonna be going live later today with a last day on Earth live stream, actually at uh, 6 p.m. Eastern time. Every Friday, we are live. If you don't know what time that, that is in your own local time zone, you can go ahead and actually go to the other link in the description, twitch.tv tv slash star slash schedule to go ahead and check it out but it should be pretty much like a few hours after this video it does go live so looking forward to seeing y'all over there we got the face cam on we got the live chat rolling so y'all can actually participate let's go baby oh we got the pass and the agility you know me though we gotta cash in on agility agility da, 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 da. because enemies attacks can miss us and it is ridiculously op Beep, pop, boop. we go ahead they scan our eyeballs like it's the matrix or some kind of super futuristic thing and ooh, the debuff we're gonna deal with today enemies armor is increased by 15%. It's going to be interesting to see how this goes. I don't actually recall getting this, but it just means we're going to be doing a little bit less damage to our comrades. But looking forward to seeing y'all over there at that stream where we are live every time, every week, same time, same place. Once you make it on time, one time, one week, because time zones can be confusing. Just know that that's always when we are live at that time every single week. Looking forward to seeing y'all over there and looking forward to as well popping up in a wee bit of an extremely rare cargo here. Yeah, that's right. We got uh, this little thing here in transit. Let's go ahead and skip it do that skip any day our way uh, through that and boom look at some of the wonderful rewards that await us if i didn't already have like 10 tactical backpacks i would definitely be taking this but uh, alas i am not but if y'all do do this opening man it is one of my favorite things about it you can literally get tactical backpacks from freaking a quest pretty much that is incredible what i'm gonna go ahead and do though is i'll be taking the military notebook i'll be taking the carbon composites for show for show and honestly man while we're at it i'll go ahead and take the steel plate as well <laughs> And y'all can see some of our uh, things over there to the right do get replaced. Oh, we now have two tax little backpacks if we ever decide to go ahead and claim that. But as a bonus, as we go and clear out these first few sectors, we are also going to be accumulating points for our next cargo delivery. And we're also going to be seeing what the bosses can go ahead and uh, put up before again checking out the brand spanking new sectors. Do you hear me, Screamer? New sectors are coming! Can you scream if you're excited, buddy? Oh, look at that! The excitement levels are through the roof. But it does not get overexcited there, buckle you gotta die you gotta die and who do 23 points from that not bad let's go we can go ahead and collect the unusual samples as well i'll probably i don't have a room in my inventory really right now i'm probably gonna have to uh, double back and do a little bit of that we of course got the saw blade mason the oozy jacuzzi to take down this acid melter dude he better not spit if that guy spits at you dude it is deadly it is lethal it is acidic it literally melts down your armor man no bueno if you ask me now here's what we're gonna do there's gonna be some enemies on the other side of this room guess what that means they're built for sure Shotgun rain! Whoa! Some state drop while others steal the paint. Shotgun rain! And then, of course, the little Uzi Jacuzzi, an all-inclusive stay. Oh, he's so excited about his all-inclusive stay.
stay at all inclusive stay at the five star resort and spa with uh, all, 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 all you can have, all you can eat, buffet, oozy, jacuzzi pass. I don't think you eat, I don't think you'd get a buffet pass for that, but you know, we do things different over here at the five star resorts and the spa, baby. You might be like, where's the other four stars? Uh, it's, a, it's a metaphor because you know, when, when you're good on Yelp, you get like a five star review and, and my name's Star. But maybe I should invent a cloning machine and get like four clones of myself. That would make a little bit more sense, maybe. Uh, anyways, what? Bruh, I got farted on, man. I'm losing a little bit of my max health. That is no buena. Well, here's what we're gonna go ahead and do. Uh, we are gonna have to deal with an enemy that is a little bit obnoxious fell. I'd like to shoot that him from far away and lure him over uh, to us. Hello, hello, bucko. Oh, did I not hit him? Okay. Oh, we want to bring... Ah, man, we got a little bit poisoned. That's all right. That's all right. That's okay. We'll be fine. We want to bring him over here, though, because the Shambler, as y'all can see, we're only doing 22 damage a hit. But once we slice his arm off, we go back to doing the amount of damage that we should be doing. That makes Star a happy camper. That is why you always want to have at least one melee weapon with you when you are doing the laboratory. Of course, you can take your time, do some sneaky dicky attacks and all sorts of jazz like that. Oh, speaking of jazz, like I was saying earlier, we are going to, yes, indeedly do be partaking in. Hold up. We got to try and take down. Oh, no. That's a lot of people. Why are you people all attacking me at once? I did not sign up for this. Oh, not multiple acid melters, dude. No, 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 boy, no. I would not like to be attacked by multiple acid melters at once. If you melt my armor, I'm gonna be big freaking mad. Ah, juked! Get juked, son! Call me a juke box. I'm straight from the 60s. I'm juking like nobody's business. What record you wanna play? You wanna play some Beatles? I got you covered, baby. I got you covered. First, just please eat these bullets to the face, to the face. No, let's not get yelled at by you, good sir. I'm so I did my chores, ma. I did my chores. Stop yelling at me, please. Ah! All right, there you go. And they're both taken down. And I should actually now have the inventory room to go ahead and uh, pick up a little bit of the uh, the stuff that they have dropped. Very nice, very nice. They're dropping two things. One, of course, to help us, uh, the samples, which will be coming in handy. And then the uh, eight cards, which are very good, very nice. There's, of course, with 50 of those, we managed to open up that crate at the beginning of the video. Very nice, very happy with that. I already see the next crate we gotta go ahead and get to. I'm getting a wee bit on the hungry side. Let's go ahead and chow down a little bit there and take a little bit of a glug of water and uh, i'm just gonna go ahead and uh, yeah just uh take that fart straight to the face to the face to the face here we got screamer guy he's probably gonna scream at us soon enough there you go i'm getting yelled at i don't like this no let's dodge the screams as much as we can and hit him with the good old motown mo down the reason we wanted to, of course come into this room is so we can access this little chest which we'll have for us some very good stuff. I'm gonna have to go ahead and double back to grab the rest of these things. Because again, don't have the inventory room at the moment. But we're working on it. I'm, wait, watch where you going. I'm walking here. I'm working on it, you know? Oh, no. I'm just gonna go ahead and take, take all that. Take all that. And then on the other side of this doorway, there should be a few enemies we can take down. Hello, scientist. Go back to doing your science. Okie dokie, artichoke. Do mama, 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 mia, mama, mia, mama, mia. Let me go. Dude. The max health being lowered is not a fun thing to deal with when dealing with the slasher. Marvelous. And the first level of our cargo value has increased, baby. I cannot wait to see how much the bosses freaking give us, dude. I still have not had a chance to see how much the bosses you give in terms of points, but you gotta imagine it's gonna be generous, baby. All right, we got a few more enemies up ahead. Why don't we bring out a little bit of that old handy dandy? <laughs> What's it called? What's it named? Oh, that's right. Shotgun rain. Whoa! Some state drive. The slasher feels the pain. Shotgun rain. Another zombie aboard the bullet train. Shotgun rain. All right, all right. Back it up, back it up, back it up, baby. I don't want to be dealing with you too much here, Slasher Guy McGee. Of course, a lot of their hits are still missing, which is good, but uh, a lot of them are also hitting, which is not good, especially from the Slasher, because he quite literally makes us bleed. Our mini Uzi is just broken. Let's just go and get a little bit of shotgun rain on these two schmucks. Oh, as long as the Slasher keeps missing us, though, we will not be inflicted with that bleeding damage. Oh, big hit, baby. That was a critical. You love to see that. Oh, you hate to see that head, though, man. You, should, you seem to have misplaced your head. Bucko. Uh, also, of course, here is going to be the boss room. We'll head into there a little bit later. Let's just try to clear out the floor first and foremost and the deadly things that await us. And then we'll go to the even deadlier room of Death and Doom, where uh, literally the hardest boss battle in the freaking game. Yeah, we're going to be facing that off in just a second here. Hello, Spore Runner. Please, please, Bucko, my friend. May you take some bullets to the face, to the face. Let's go and equip this thing so we can take down the Slasher. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Or not the, 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 the Shambler. Shambler, Bambler, Rambler. Whatever his name is. 
And then we can go ahead and hit him with the slow-mo, our special ability modification for our pistol drizzle. Which, by the way, for a quick little rundown on what we are rocking, our M16s got these four attachments. Our shotguns have these four along with that spread shot special ability from the heavy barrel. VSS has these four attachments. M16 has those four. A lot of common ones. That's what I really like about our M16 getup, man. Pistol over here with the leg shot ability granted by the red dot on the mount. The Kalashnikov 47 with a bayonet attached for that piercing blow. And of course, the big guns, the big kahunas, the scars themselves. These things are going to be capable of some big hits and we're going to be saving them. I mean, probably we're going to be using them for none other than uh, the douche canoe McGee over in that little side room where uh, things are going to get a little bit out of hand, probably, potentially, most likely. We're definitely going to want to use a scar uh, for that room. But okie dokie, artichokey. Whoop! Hit that. Oh, of course I got hit with that still, man. Okay, well, that's kind of annoying. Let's just go and lure these fellas out. Shotgun rain! Some sleep drop. What uh, this field of pain? Shotgun rain! And then, uh... We're going to want to hit the acid melter with a bit of a slow-mo. Make sure he keeps his distance from us. I'm just trying to make sure that he doesn't spit on us. And if he does... Oh, no, he's going to spit! Oh, we took him down just in time. Star, what's a little spit here and there, do? You don't understand. If that guy's spit hits you, it takes down like 20% of your armor, my guy. I don't like that. I like my armor not being taken down at all. Believe if it's going to... Oh, baby, shotgun raid. I just took off every freaking, freaking part of that guy's body. I like when my body armor goes down a little by little while it's actively protecting me. Getting spat on and having half of it disintegrate at once? Yeah, that'd be upsetting, man. Look at that. That's all the damage we're taking so far. That is beyond reasonable. I like what I'm seeing. Let's go and, uh, anyways, let's have an M16 here ready and ready to go. We're gonna have a little, uh, bigger room of zombie shotgun rain! Deal with a few of them. Again, we do not... Ah, we're gonna get farted on a little bit. That's A-OK. -okay. We're just trying to keep our distance. No, that's what I'm talking about. It slows you down. A lot of bad things happen when the acid melter gets you. Oh, you're gonna get me? No, no, no. You're gonna catch a few bullets, baby. That's what you're gonna get. Oh, let's go ahead and shoot that fella. Uh, get some more M16 bullets up in this streamer's face. And with a few more to go, sayonara, baby. Look at that. Look at how much our armor durability dropped, dude. That's what I'm saying. And I'd rather not have to pee. Just, just I'm spreading a little bit of vitamin P. You know, it's, an, it's a natural thing. It's very natural. I'm blessing this laboratory with the most important vitamin of them all, right? Okay, anyways. Go and pick up these things, but yeah, I don't know, man. I, I'd rather not blow through multiple sets of armor today, and if the acid melter is going to be hitting us with that, uh, there's a chance we might do exactly that, which is uh, no bueno, you know? I'm not exactly a fan of that. And, ah, beautiful. You did not get farted on that time. There should be a chest up in this room because I didn't see a second one yet. Yup, yup, yup. Indeed we do. That is what it is. Don't you do anything funny there, Mr. Acid Melter. We got the spore spreader over here. Spread it as spores. Oh, we just want to make sure to go ahead and keep a little bit of a distance from that guy because his farts, man. That guy had a nasty breakfast burrito this morning. And don't get me wrong, dude. I'm a sucker for breakfast burritos, too. But, uh, control yourself. Oh, no, hit the wrong button. Did not mean to do that. Shotgun rain. Okie doke. Y'all go ahead and spread it. Oh, baby. A little bit of that. Not before he farted, though, man. His, la his dying wish. He's on death row. He's like, what, what, what's your final wish? Let me fart one last time. And you know what? I'm a kind person. I'm, I'm a good lad. Now let him do that. And I'm just going to let the room air out a little bit. Bada bing, bada boom. Pop up into here and open up this little chest. Uh, and then... We are not going to be able to open up. Uh, nice, 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 nice. Dude, we got the catalyst. Love to see that. That's like the rarest pull you can get from that catalyst box. Uh, whatchamacallit, or the region box. Pass perk is required. We could have got that for the first sector, but it never makes sense to do that. Always, if you're going to get the pass perk, get it on the second sector. You want to know why? Because, uh, whatchamacallit, we, we, sure, we might got to refresh a few times, but listen, I'm always willing to risk it for the biscuit, and I don't mind dropping a few dollar reduce here and there if it means that we can show off absolutely everything uh, possible to the fullest extent imaginable. And specifically for this, uh, I mean, the past break, you might be like, Star, it's unnecessary, it's just extra loot. Exactly, it's extra loot that could very well come in handy in future crafting recipes. And I want to be prepared for every new update to ever hit Last Day on Earth and always take it to the max. Let's go! I'll take that pass. Always want to be ready and willing to take it uh, to the max. So having absolutely as much loot available on standby in every way, shape, form, or fashion is just yes. Boss's health increased by 40. No, that is not good. Oh, no, dude. Don't tell me I got to fight the necrotic hybrid. 
with 40% bonus health. Well, here's what I was talking about. You can double back if you get that uh, past perk. So it does make sense over there. But uh, yeah, y'all know me. I'm always willing to risk it for the biscuit and drop a few extra dollar reduce here and there if it does mean that I can show something off to an even more full extent and be prepared for the future, which is just another reason why y'all should go ahead. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, buckle in that notification bell to stay in the loop with all the fan freaking tastic shenanigans coming your way. Any new info about new updates and of course new updates themselves. We are going to be checking out ladies and gentlemen boys and girls and look at that once you clear out the sector these uh fart sprinklers go ahead and deactivate marvelous news because i could go ahead and double back through here and grab a few things and i still cannot grab the anti-rad because i literally do not have enough room oh you know what i could go ahead and do though I kind of want to double back a little bit more. I think I left a few dead bodies over here in the beginning sector. Or did I already double back and grab them? Already double backed and grabbed them. Cool, 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 cool. Hello, janitor. How you doing? Cleaning up my mess? <laughs> good fun, boy. Good good fun, my guy. Very funny. Very funny. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put those few extra seaweeds up into there. Of course, we are going to have to go ahead and grab some more of those to fill that generator up even more. But okie dokie. Now, with the seaweed out of the way, the weed of the sea is no longer a problem. We can just go and grab that anti-red to make sure that nothing is left behind. And the fateful moment, the first boss battle of today, now awaits, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We're gonna want to have some big guns equipped for this. This is, like I said, even though it's only the first sector, this boss is significantly more difficult than the second sector. Also, in a way, this boss is actually optional to beat the sector. Second sector, not so much. You literally have to beat him to beat the sector, so... Yeah, I'm just kind of mentally preparing myself here. And while we are doing that, I need to ask a favor from y'all. Smash the like button and give me the power I need to succeed. Studies show that if you hit that like button, uh, your luck goes up by 5,000%. You get like a temporary boost uh, up in your temporary boost tab. But like in real life. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Super scientific studies by scientists show this. No lie. And uh, also, as a YouTuber, it gives me all the power I need to defeat this freaking schmuck up at and looking forward to seeing y'all over at that twitch.tv slash star type stream later today like i was saying always an awesome way to kick off the weekend literally for me on friday right after work we go live with the live stream and just uh, kick off the weekend right and having y'all over there is always such a fun time being able to interact live with the live chat all that jazz i have the face cam on for those of y'all that like face cam it's a super fun time and of course while you're at it don't forget to, to hit that follow button over on twitch to be notified whenever we do go live as well because sometimes we do do bonus streams but otherwise we're live same time same place 6 p.m eastern time twitch.tv slash star slide and then go to slash schedule to see what time that is that it is in your own local time zone but okie dokie oh let's drink up a little bit more water let's make sure that we don't go to eat we don't go to drink throughout the entirety of this we got two scores ready to go okie dokie lads let's see how this goes uh Hey, buddy. How you doing there, friend? Necrotic Hyper. Let's just go in and continue uh, juking those hits of his. And we want to go ahead and definitely lure him over to this side of the map. Because at a certain point... Ow, he hit us a little bit there. That's A-OK. -okay. At a certain part of the battle, parasites will begin to emerge. Oh, we mama. Let's be careful about that. These parasites emerge. And the red parasites are kind of annoying. If they hit us, we get stunned. Which can definitely be annoying. Don't get me wrong. But if the yellow parasite emerges, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we might be in quite the lethal beat of trouble. Yes, because, uh, oh, you gotta die, you gotta die, you gotta die, my friend. If that thing reaches our necrotic hybrid friend and not so friend, oh, no, 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 no. I gotta kill that parasite ASAP, bro. We, okay, 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 okay. We wanna lure him over to this side. This side is as far away as possible from the vents. If any of those things reach him, we're just in the most bad news bears imaginable and there's another one you gotta die my friend he activates a super powerful ability that literally destroys the entire room in one fell swoop and okay i might get hit a little bit here oh no my weapon broke that is really bad that's really bad not now die necrotic hybrid die before the yellow parasite gets to you ah! 600 points let's freaking go literally if that thing got to him it's a death sentence, bro. That's the judge, jury, and executioner. And I don't, my voice didn't crack. I don't know what you're talking about. He blows up the entire room. There's no way to avoid it, but let's freaking go. We avoided it. I mean, there's a way to avoid it by killing those parasites. And we did that, baby. Woo! I'm just saying, man. Oh, we got 30 of those, uh, whatchamacallit, little samples too. Not too bad. But he gave us 600 points, dude. We're doing pretty good over here on the point side of things. A measly 400 points away from getting high value cargo. When we get that, we'll go ahead and, uh, we'll knock out another cargo delivery. For the boys. For the girls. We'll do it for the everyone's. You know? And all right. 
Our debuff here, boss's health is increased by 40%. I don't think his health was increased by 40%. Maybe because, like, we already opened the room and he spawned in. I don't entirely know. But if I, if that guy had 40% more health, dude, I would have been big mad. That would have not been good. All right, let's continue trying to blow through some of our more basic weapons. Because as we continue progressing, it's, again, only going to get tougher and tougher. So we want to save some of the big kahunas, the big guns for the big enemies. Uh, let's have a M16 ready to go as kind of like a little backup, though. Because I'm not going to lie. I, I Actually, let's get this uh, shotgun rain over here, too. I did see a group of enemies over here, like, right off the bat. Hey, buddy. Oh, a juggernaut. My favorite. Just kidding. He's the most heavily armored of them all. And he now has 15% more armor. Life is good, you know? Yeah, life is so good when they get an armor buff that already is buffing the most powerful armor person of them all. At least there's no, uh, what should I call, toxic spewer, which we will indubitably be encountering throughout the course of today. And I'm not looking forward to encountering the spewer of toxicity, dude. He literally just spews out CSGO lobbies, Modern Warfare 2 lobbies, Call of Duty lobbies. That's what he spews, <laughs> you know? Okay, memes aside, he is deadly. He's very deadly, you need to be very careful. I will bring pistol back out to play. I'll have M16. This may be our first... Uh, just another juggernaut. Okay, let's hit him with the slow-mo and uh, take him down from a safe distance. And again, this is the thing, man. If we just want to be wanting a zombie, I like our odds. If it's like a 5v1 and there's a toxic spirit mixed up into there, you're going to see. We're going to be in trouble real, real quick. All right, what's up in here? We got a few enemies. Shotgun raid, baby. A lot of freaking, uh, whatchamacallit? A lot of juggernauts so far. I'm not gonna lie. This may actually literally be... Whoop, 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 whoop. Let's go and Zoidberg our way out of there. Uh, this might literally be the most amount of juggernauts I have seen to begin a sector run so far, which is slightly concerning. Dude, this exploder is so freaking annoying. I'm not gonna lie. That freaking armor buff is actually very obnoxious to do. Once the exploder will go boom, and your babies will go boom, boom. It's boomception. Thank you, thank you for all those already up to 32 of these Sector A green cards, baby. Whoop, whoop. Uh, let's toss that in the little boo. Toss that into there. Let's uh, mix it up and get a little VSS action. Chow down on some meat. <laughs> Gotta love that meat. And uh, deal with these folks from a distance. Oh, there is my arch nemesis. Oh, the toxic spewer. That toxicity that he spews out is incredibly annoying. Not only does it damage us as we walk over it, but on top of that, it heals the spewer as well. The worst wombo combo ever. You go up to McDonald's, they got like the four for four, co four for four combo. Dude, the toxic spewer is showing up and ordering the four for 20 combo or the 20 for four combo. All right, he's getting the deal of a lifetime here. He poisons the ground. It damages me. It heals him. Like, come on. Can I, can I, can I get a positive out of this? Like, can something happen to favor me? Obviously not, because we are in the zombies world. This is the zombies world. We're just living in it, baby. And all right, hello. Oh, another one. Yay, my favorite. Uh, yeah, let's try and take down the slasher first and foremost. What I'm going to go and do over here to the toxic spewer. Boop, hit him with that slow-mo. Want to try and take down the slasher first. Just so I only have to worry about one annoying enemy at a time. Slasher, not quite as annoying, but still kind of annoying, you know. Hello, hello. We continue to bleed. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Do a barrel roll, makes Star Fox proud. Take down the slasher. Oh, beautiful. And hit the toxic spewer with the jukes. Oh, no, no. We're going to want to definitely back up a little bit. Uh, hit him with the slow mo. And beautiful. I'm just going to shoot him from the other side of the puddle. <laughs> Bloody marvelous, baby. Bloody marvelous. Beautiful. Regent Box had nice another catalyst inside of it. Literally the best thing you can possibly get. It doesn't have that many uses at the moment, but again, it's a good little future proof thing. Oh, another one! Yay! Just my luck! I'm so lucky. I'm, I'm the luckiest. I'm, I'm the luckiest human being on this planet. This is incredible. This is impeccable. This is, I gotta get an AK in my inventory right freaking now because this is not a group of enemies I wanna be dealing with with a pistol! Okay, okay, okay. Screamer, you're a schmuck. I'm not too worried about you, baby. You are a pushover. You will die easy peasy. I am more worried about the... Oh, I don't want to get yelled at, dude. If that yell hits us, you all saw a little bit earlier, we get stunned. I don't want to be stunned when I could be standing in a puddle of the toxic spewer's spewy goo. Okay, I don't want to be stuck in the spewer's goo. No bueno. Zero out of ten would most definitely not recommend that. 
But all right, we continue making good progress on this sector. Hello, hello, Mr. Scientist. What kind of science have you found? Too bad, don't care. Hello, Toxic Spewer. Let's keep you at a distance and deal with you via Kalashnikov 47. One of my favorite weapons of all time. Close a second to, uh, what can I say? Shotgun rain. Seriously, the, Kal the AK Thunder. Man, it just hits different. It sounds so satisfying to shoot. And not just that. It's satisfying to see how much damage it does. Except to this streamer, dude. This might be one of the most annoying debuffs I've seen get hicks. Again, every time you do a sector, not only do you get a perk to help you, but you get a random debuff assigned to you. And I gotta say, this debuff is like obnoxiously obnoxious. It's obnoxious exception. Making these enemies take 40% less damage. That adds up. And the problem is, it's a double whammy, because the longer these enemies hit, the more annoying they're to deal with, especially some of the tougher ones, like the spewer and stuff like that, and the screamer. And that just means it's harder to take a group down as well, so it takes longer, which means then the group, a group of like four or five zombies, can last longer. And the longer a group of zombies lasts, the more dangerous it is. Because again, zombies and groups are when they are at their most deadly. A single 1v1 we can usually take on. Pretty nice, pretty easy peasy. You know, I mean, it can be annoying, don't get me wrong, but uh, we tend to have it covered in the bag. When it is like a four or five very obnoxious zombies, the bag is not secured. Oh, no, no, no. Not today. Hello. Stab! Look at that. 36 damage from the stabby stab, though. Dude, the bayonet, that is what it is goaded at. Doing damage to armored enemies. Boop. Now, it's not really worth doing. A extremely valuable cargo is on the way. Let's go and cash that in, baby. Let's go and cash that in. We're trying to get freaking multiple extremely valuable cargoes today, and I think we should be able to do that. But without further ado, please, 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 let's just go ahead and skip it, confirm it, and open it. And we got some nice stuff coming our way. I'm going to go ahead. I'm taking the carbon composites, the steel plates, and the gunpowder as well. Please and thank you. And then y'all can see this thing is starting to populate a lot over there on the right with kind of like items that don't stack. So I think I might go ahead and clear it out, drop a few coins here. All right, I'm risking it for the biscuit because if you get stackable items, they could, like the leftovers that we don't pick, they go to the right. And stackable items can stack, but the problem is it looks like these unstackable items are starting to kind of take over. So with that in mind, I'm going to drop the 75 coins boop, and clear that thing out. We got all of them items and uh, it is going okay. But, uh, that's, dude, we definitely had, like, a few nice things in there that actually disappeared. Because, like, the pantalones freaking took them over. Like, the second tactical back backpack. Little bit sad news. Little sad news bears. It's usually bad news bears. Oh, no, not today, buddy. Today it's sad news bears. Alright. Uh, let's get... Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna use the VSS here. So I'd like to lure these enemies over. Shotgun. Rain. Oh, no, not this guy. All right, well, luckily the VSS has some very long range associated with it. So we should be able to continue just kind of like taking this, these failures out from a safe, safe little distance. Hello, Toxic Spewer. How you doing, baby? Oh, mama, come over here. Come over here. Mother trucker. Okay, whoop, hit him with the jukes. Hit him with a few bullets over here. Ah, uh, okay, hit us a little bit there, but that's A-OK -okay because the Toxic Spewer is going down. And 25 points are coming our way. Bada boom, bada bang. We'll go and collect a few of those, and let's uh, circle on back. We got this hallway, this corridor of doom. Let's go ahead and open up this. Just to kind of, you know, air things out a little bit. And here's what we're going to do. You don't want to be fighting enemies in this hallway. You can be electrocuted. A lot. So I'm going to shoot the, the enemies. Bring them over here. Hello, Monsieur Scientist. Oh, no, did not mean to do that. Oh, we got the slasher. Here's what we're going to do, though. Shotgun rain! Take out the both of you. And let's deal with the slasher from a distance. And I'm just going to try to blow through the rest of our pistol drizzle over here. At this point, I don't think we're going to be trying to use the pistol too much more. Especially with the types of enemies and zombies we had to look forward to. Um, yeah. I'd rather blow through the pistol now before the going gets even more tough. Because this next room we got to clear out. Bro, I tell you what, it's deadly. It's deadly as can be. You think you've seen deadly before? This is deadly times three. It's not going to be good. This room is actually, I'm not even kidding, very obnoxious to deal with. If we get a bad group of enemies that spawn into this room, it's going to be tough. So uh, without further ado, wish me luck. All right, so check it. We're going to open this up. There's going to be a lot of zombies and a lot of annoying ones at that shotgun rain. Let's hit them all with a little bit of that. And the fact that a toxic spewer spawned in here makes this incredibly more annoying. This could have been even worse, though. I'm not going to lie. 
but the fact it's such a tight quarters room and he's spewing all over. No bueno, my friend. No bueno. But all right, the slasher is down to one v one with the spewer. I mean, I've seen worse spawns. This definitely could have gone worse than it did go. But I'll take that. I'll take that. That was surprisingly reasonable. The fact that two scientists spawned in kind of nice. They're pushovers, man. Those are like those that those guys with like the hundred health, the two hundred health. Not really that big of a deal to deal with. We'll deal with it. Okay, dealception. But the spewers, man. Spewers. Oh, hello, buddy. We got friends. Chuck it right. Ah. Back it up a little bit. Continue blowing through the Kalashnikov. 47. Stab the Juggernaut. Given the fact that it does that full damage that we are looking for. The Bayonet skill also does regenerate, like, very quickly. And all right, they are all donezo. Very nice. Very nice. Let's get the pistol back out to play. Because, again, I am trying to just finish up using this thing, man. Because no way we're going to be using it in the upcoming boss battle. No, 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 no. No, thank you. And okay. This is actually a perfect situation. Ah! Okay, as long as he's still missed, we'll hit him with the slow-mo. We should be able to blow through pretty much the rest of our pistol. The durability, of course, being in that bottom right-hand corner. Uh, continue juking him a little bit. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is when this pistol has, like, one bullet left here, hit him with one last slow motion and blow him down from a distance. Marvelous. Uh, thank you, thank you. I wonder if the freaking upcoming boss battle is going to give us 600 points as well. I can see it, I can see it. Boom, the pass perk getting us in uh, to this little room here. Love to see that because we got some real nice goodies coming our way, lads and lassies. Nice, another region box. Boom, anti-rad pills. Beautifully perfect for Bunker Bravo and potentially more sectors, which again, as soon as we wrap this thing up, baby, it's time for some new sectors. I hope y'all are still excited because I cannot hold it in. I've had to change my pants two times during the course of this video. Just out of excitement. No, but actually, imagine. <laughs> it's a yolk. It's a yolk. I'm yolking. I'm yolking. Oh, is there a toxic spewer in here? Or are these guys kind of pushovers? No, it looks like we got a bunch of pushovers. Nice. We got the scientist and his screamer, who is like super scientist, who likes to yell. I think he is the boss yelling at the scientist. Like, hey, scientists, science harder. And, uh, you know, sometimes if they don't science harder, he literally stuns them with how loud this mother trucker yells. Yellow! The cargo value has increased. Bringing us up to that marvelous worthwhile cargo. And we should definitely be able to hit, again, that extremely rare. At least one more time today, which has me very, very excited. All right, we still got one more room up in here. Let's get that shotgun right and ready to go. And, uh, yeah, we'll get the rest of the VSS up in here, too. Of course, there's spewer shotgun rain! Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man! We might definitely want to go to get a little bit of distance up in there. Let's get the second VSS ready to go. The VSS is definitely not a weapon we're going to be utilizing during the upcoming boss battle. It is not the type of situation where it comes in handy. I will go ahead and play a little bit of that. Ring around the rosy pocket full of posies. How does that go? I don't know. I never actually knew that song. And all right. Shotgun rain. Oh, no. The toxic spewer zagged when he should have zigged. Oh, you cheeky boy. It made things slightly annoying for us. I could have hit him with a big old blast of that shotgun rain. But alas... I did not, but there we go. We'll deal with him safely from distance. He is dead. We have parasitic babies coming, and I'm just waiting for my shotgun rain ability to reappear because there's three of them. They're like Siamese triplets. Shotgun rain, baby! Look at that. See you later, alligator. And uh, with that, it is time for upcoming boss battle of which I speak. We will use Kolesnikov 47 primarily first and foremost. Why? Because... I don't want to use the scars unless absolutely necessary. Let's be honest, though, it'll probably become absolutely necessary. But luckily, this boss battle, much more doable than Necrotic Hybrid. There is very easy tactics to it, and we're going to try to engage in the tacticians. First, he gets summoned over here. And once he gets summoned, these freaking generators start generating lots of electricity, and he does a lot of damage, which can be bad. But now, we want to go ahead and actually come on down. I usually like coming down over here. Look at that. He gets electrocuted in the water. He has so much freaking health, though, which is annoying. But at a certain point here, lads and lassies, he will. Beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. He's going to go and deactivate one of the generators and, like, charge up from it. And, oh, let's not get stuck in that. But long story short, when he deactivates a generator like that, it no longer is active and beautiful. He's going to deactivate more. As he does that, he doesn't move. So it's a beautiful little double whammy situation. And oh no, he hit us, he hit us, he hit us. Oh no, 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 he hit us, he hit us, he hit us. Okay, well he's not doing much more. He is still doing a decent chunk of damage here. And look at that. Oh no, we can't cross over, man. Oh, let's be careful, let's be careful. Beautiful. Now once he breaks that, electricity will definitely not spawn in these areas. So he can be super safe. Take him down. 500 points coming our way. And beautiful. 
all sorts of loot as well. Sector A2, you are done so. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Sector B1, it's time for us to take a look. Boom! So what y'all are seeing here, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is actually a sneak peek, a preview of the upcoming sectors to the laboratory, which was shared by the developers of Last Down Earth with the caption, surely sectors of the lab are going to differ from each other. Some are filled with greenery running wild all over the place. A1, another, while another will meet you with cold and darkness, making your blood freeze. Be prepared. You never know what you'll see behind another door or who. What do you mean, or who? Who in Tarnation could we be seeing down here? That is a that's a teasing little sentence over there. Yeah, maybe freaking uh, Agent Special K or whatever his guy was. I don't know. I think it was named after a breakfast cereal. The guy, uh, who, what you call, who like opened up this entire infection in this laboratory in the first place, or at least had something to do with it. Maybe we'll be seeing him down here. Maybe we'll have to battle him, or maybe we'll just encounter him in the middle of a floor. Regardless, what do we have to look at over here, ladies and gentlemen, is again a look at an up and coming sector, which is big news because with these teases of the upcoming sector i think it goes without saying we've gotten some teases about the sector for a few weeks now and we're gonna go over all of those by the way and but with that season 15 already being out all signs are pointing towards the next big content update being the next sector and or sectors plural probably sectors plural and we'll go over exactly why in a second so we, we got a few things to go over but uh, indeed being the new sectors being added to the laboratory in the form of most likely B1 and B2 and potentially, who knows man, we'll find some loot that'll be able to allow us to like repair the trolley over at the bottom of things, you know? That's over on those train tracks on floor three. Maybe it'll connect to the last day bar from season 15 because there are train tracks there. You know, there's a few little connections going on. But let's focus on the main thing, of course, being this new sector. And what we are seeing here is a look that the upcoming theme for one of these sectors looks like it's going to be cold and freezing and like cryogenic chambers. You can see zombies cryogenically frozen in some of these capsules. So without, without, I think it goes without saying, this is going to be a very cold or it's going to at least have sections in this upcoming sector that is going to be very cold, which is concerning because that means that we might need to either be using like fur armor to stay toasty or we might only be able to spend a limited amount of time in the frozen rooms before we start freezing and freezing to death and when you start freezing to death it's gg you start you go super slow you can't change weapons you can't heal you can't interact with things it's pretty much gg so this is gonna play out potentially a little bit like floor four of bunker alpha which is kind of crazy to see we'll probably be seeing I mean, like the first sector, the theme of that is like kind of like a greenhouse type theme. And you can see like all these funguses and stuff throughout there. But uh, that's kind of like the theme of the first sector. The second sector is this kind of like electrical power theme going forward. So it appears that the third sector is going to have some kind of like cryogenically frozen theme or something like that going for it which is definitely interesting to see probably and each of these like sectors sectors does kind of like coincide with some experiments and stuff and here we're seeing the zombies being experimented on by being like frozen either cryogenically or just trying something like that who knows so most likely the boss of this sector by the way will actually encompass kind of like the whole freezing mechanics as well and maybe he'll be able to inflict like frozen damage to us maybe we'll have to worry while doing the boss battle of actually freezing to death there are some interesting things at play and I cannot wait to see how they do unfold. And that kind of like is the breakdown here of this image that we are seeing. It's kind of like being again that one room, some cryogenics chambers, again, the, the snow formulating, a lot of signs pointing towards what I am saying. Now, we also got something else to check out. Boom! This was also shared as a, another image for the upcoming sector or sectors plural. And I think it might be sectors plural because this doesn't seem to have that kind of like frozen theme going for it. This appears to be some sort of giant spinning ball of doom with electricity all over the place. Probably what's gonna happen is as you enter this room, these electrical charges spin and you have to kind of stay within your one sector as it spins without interacting with electricity. Otherwise you get freaking electrocuted to death or something like that. That would make sense. It definitely seems like it's gonna make for an interesting room. Again, teasing and getting another sneak peek at the upcoming sectors. Boom! Now what y'all are seeing here is kind of like a concept art image of this sketch. And we can see probably you get a little bit of another idea of kind of like what they were going for, you know, and it appears kind of like we'll see some of like the neighboring rooms next to it and it kind of looks like that one room appears to be some sort of a dead end so probably the way that this is going to work that room with like all those freaking like uh electrical like stuff or like i don't know like the big boxes you know on the right side 
So this probably is going to be like a dead end of some sort during one of the sector runs. We're going to have to get there, interact with kind of like all those boxes to do something. And whether that be like a boss battle we encounter in the middle of this room, maybe we have to like be multitasking. This will make for a crazy boss battle. Or if just like at some point during our sector run, we have to go on this little detour, interact with that stuff, interact with those electrical boxes, and then make our way back. Whatever it might be, it does appear like interesting things are going to encompass this stuff here. And then finally... Some more stuff. Boom! This also was shared by the developers of Last Downers with the caption. It is unknown what the people who worked on the dangerous developments at the lab were guided by, but they clearly went further than just studying zombies. Well, it'll definitely work in favor of all fans of firearms, and in the new sectors, plural, they'll find some interesting stuff. That is right. So within these new sectors, we're gonna find what whatever the heck this is. Some sort of a firearm slash re reloading bench or something like that y'all can see on the left and right they have kind of like two different versions this looks like it's gonna have the same function but this is kind of like the last standard developers like drawing up sketches and trying to figure out you know which one which look that they want to go to but they both appear to do the same thing you can see that there is a gun being assembled onto this workbench on the right you can see a gun actually on the rack over on the side this one this looks like it's gonna be some sort of a workbench that is going to be able to assemble guns Potentially these upcoming sectors will have like gun parts that we're gonna be able to gather or maybe we'll just be able to bring a gun parts Bring them to this workbench and assemble new guns because the guns that we're seeing on that workbench They don't really look like any gun that is currently in the game or if they do It's kind of hard to tell because they are currently on the workbench But these also appear like they are new guns They said the sectors are gonna have some awesome stuff for all fans of firearms So it looks like they're teasing also new weapons and new guns coming our way along with whatever this workbench is and Maybe this isn't just a workbench we find in the sector. Maybe like the acid bath in the third floor of Bunker Alpha, we learn a recipe for this. Then we can craft this workbench, put it in our homes, and proceed with the Zephon and the shenanigans from there. Could you imagine being able to assemble our own guns at home on a workbench like this? And again, this appears like a very advanced workbench, like a workbench that let us assemble potentially the best guns to date or something like that. These things look advanced man and it just has me so freaking excited all of these looks all of these things that we have seen about these upcoming sectors they point towards some major things boom to go with it we can also go ahead and go over this which was posted even even further back a few weeks ago with the caption the laboratory is not forgotten and the development of new sectors is continuing this place still hides lots of secrets and mysteries which you will face in a while stay tuned we'll keep you up to date and this is kind of like another taste another look at the upcoming sectors we already broke this down a little bit more in depth but long story short it looks like it's some kind of like military grade laser being used to shoot at these like heavily armored targets or something like that so maybe this will be connected to that giant electrical spinny thing because this kind of it seems to follow the theme of needing lots of electricity to function. Maybe we won't be able to get past this laser that might be active or activate whenever we try to walk it by it until we go to that spinning ball of death and deactivate the electricity for the sector or something like that. Like, there's definitely some different ways that this might connect, but probably what we're going to be seeing, and the reason why I think this, this makes more sense with the, uh, what you call electricity sector or for, like, sector B coming up with the spinning ball of doom, because they kind of have that common theme of probably requiring a heck of a lot of electricity. Whereas the frozen room seems to be like very distinct from these electrical lasers. And speaking of lasers and electricity, this laser makes it seem like this might be a weapon testing sector. So potentially we'll be able to like, could you imagine build like some sort of like laser freaking guns on that workbench in this sector particularly, or maybe in this sector, we will discover that workbench into craft on our own. And then of course the fact of the matter is that the boss given the fact how the bosses kind of tie in usually with the theme for the sector, is probably gonna have like some sort of freaking laser as a weapon based off this. And by the looks of it, it looks like it's gonna be deadly given the damage that it's done to those freaking like lead cutouts and stuff like that. So I'm freaking hyped, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and I absolutely cannot wait for what is going to come in these upcoming sectors. Let me know what y'all think in that comment section down below. How do you think these sectors tie in? What do you think about my idea that kind of like the ball spinning ball of doom and the laser beam sector are the same thing? And then the kind of like frozen sector will be its own thing. How do you think we're gonna get through the frozen sector? Is it gonna be all frozen? And we have to kind of like somehow heat it up 
Or do we have to show up? Only some rooms are going to be frozen. Or is, are we, we're, we're going to have to kind of like take our time and only be able to spend some time in certain rooms before the other rooms like and like use the other rooms as kind of like, you know, in intermediaries where we can't spend all of our time in those rooms. I'll come back for this armor. No worries. Like there's so many interesting ways that this could all come together. And I'm here for it, dude. I am so freaking hyped for what is to come. And hopefully your lads and lassies, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls are as well. Let me know what y'all think about each of these teasers, what y'all's thoughts are on this upcoming sector update. Again, these sectors are probably going to be harder than the ones we've encountered so far. You know, I mean, that makes logical sense because as you usually move on, the sectors tend to get harder. Like the first sector is definitely easier than the second sector, except for the boss. And it only makes sense, you know, because to unlock the next sector, you got to beat the previous sector. You get more perks, but more debuffs per sector. So by the time we get to like sector B1 and sector B2, we're probably going to have like three perks and debuffs going our way. And then four perks and debuffs going our way. Kind of crazy to think about. You know? But anyways, with all that said and with all that done, I do still want to get my hands on some of this high-value cargo. So if you'll excuse me, I'm just going to go ahead and collect some points really quickly. And hokey dokey, my artichokies, we are very freaking close at like uh, 7.30 or something like that. So shotgun raid, we're just going to go ahead and collect a few points here and there. And then it will be time for us to shotgun rain. Get some extremely valuable cargo coming our way for the last time of today. Hello, supply. Let's go ahead and skip through that. Open her up and let's go, baby! The purple card, my favorite loot of them all. What is this over here? An elite shepherd puppy? I mean, I'm kind of tempted by the elite shepherd puppy too. I might go ahead. I'll take the gunpowder. I'll take the pup and all that. I already got plenty of backpacks and plenty of electronic circuits. But again, these are still incredibly good loots that y'all can be getting as well. And with that, the next cargo does begin to. But holy guacamole, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We just have so much to take away from today and i am so excited to see what y'all got to say in that comment section i want to see how y'all connect all these pieces how y'all think all of these things do come together because there's seriously like i don't know man there's so many interesting ways that 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 these free like i I don't know, man. I'm at a loss for words thinking about how excited I am for these sectors. Like, the sector update was the biggest update we got with the laboratory in a while. And uh, the next sectors are coming, man. You know, this is kind of like, in a way, the Bunker Charlie of the game, but easier. It's kind of like the Bunker Alpha 0.5. You know, it's, it's harder than Bunker Alpha, easier than Bunker Bravo. That's what the laboratory is. It's kind of like another bunker, man. It's got the floor system. It's got it all. And I'm here for it. Those are kind of, like, tend to be... I don't know, like the coolest locations of the game, kind of in a way, you know, if you disagree, that's all cool. I don't know, that's just my opinion, my two cents on the topic at hand or something like that. But uh, yeah, I am, uh, I am exhilarated. <laughs> I am hyped. I am so hyped. I'm gonna, I'm gonna barbecue some zombie steaks. <laughs> Delicious. Love my barbecue over here, man. So freaking good. I'm gonna go ahead and take a sip from our bar as well. Let's not forget that. So we did get the bar from our season 15 shenanigans as well. Hello, hello, bar. Gotta love the fact it can store up to 300 of each drinkable item, man. That's incredible. That is awesome. I can't put anything else in there, though. It is only drinkable items. But, man, is that handy? And does it look cool? But uh, let me know what y'all think in that comment section down below about these sectors, about these sneak peeks, how y'all think each sector will function, what y'all think the boss for each sector will be like, you know. Let me know any and all of it. I'm here for it. We got a major update to look forward to. And don't get me wrong, I love my season updates. They're fun. They give some great rewards along the way. But holy guacamole, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It goes without saying that huge major content updates like this, they just get me hyped on another level. And I am looking forward to it. Boy, that's it with that done, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. That is going to go ahead and start bringing an end to this episode of Last Day on Earth. Thank you guys a whole thing for watching. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.